Jillian Ramos here for another week of Science at Home. This week we're back to doing experiments, and this one you can eat, unlike the strawberry experiment two weeks ago. Before we get started, have you ever wondered why they put salt on the roads during winter time? It seems that when you're looking at the salt on the roads that it seems to melt the snow. Well, that is actually happening. Water normally has a freezing temperature of zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now when you put salt on water, it lowers the freezing temperature. And depending how much salt you put on, it could lower it to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is happening when they put salt on roads is that they're preventing water from freezing and making the roads more safe. Also, when you're making pasta, it says to add salt when boiling the water. From what I've told you about what it does to water at freezing point, what do you think it does to the boiling water? Today, we're going to make ice cream using those properties of salt that I just explained. So what we're going to do, take a bag of ice cubes, we're going to add some salt to the bag of ice cubes. In a second bag, we're going to add milk, sugar, and vanilla for some flavor, and we're going to put the small bag in the big bag and shake until it turns into ice cream. Sounds easy, right? So for the salt, I'm using ice cream salt. Now, I thought about just going and getting the salt that I used in my driveway this past winter because technically the salt should never touch the ice cream, but I thought I should be safe than sorry and went out and got this ice cream salt. Now, you can also use table salt if you have that around. For my milk, I'm using half and half. You can also use any type of milk that you like. You can use chocolate milk or strawberry milk, so anything you want for that. I like to sweeten my ice cream a bit, and so you can use granulated sugar. I'm just going to use this liquid sugar that I have around, and I'm going to add some vanilla for some flavor. You're probably wondering about the toppings. Well, wait till the end to add those. So, to begin, I have a gallon bag that is half full of ice. And I'm going to add to this bag one cup of this rock salt. <laughs> one cup of rock salt. Okay, to my little bag, I'm going to add one cup of half and half. A little bit of liquid sugar. and a little bit of vanilla. So you want to seal it really well because the goal is you don't want any of this to drip out into here. You also don't want any of this stuff getting into here. Salty ice cream sounds gross. So the best way might be to try to get the air out so that you don't accidentally pop it open. I'm going to put this back into here with my ice and salt. Seal it tight. And then we shake. This process can take between five and 15 minutes and it's going to get really cold. And how this milk is going to turn into ice cream is that when ice melts, it's actually absorbing energy. And where do you think it's getting that energy from? It's getting it from the milk. So it's absorbing heat from the milk. It will melt the ice and the milk will become cooler. Now I would suggest doing this science experiment at home. Maybe trying it with different types of milk. Maybe trying it with different types of salt. Trying it without salt. And tell me how it turns out. I'd love to hear it. So. I'm going to get to shaking and I will let you know when I am finished. I'm going to 
take a look and see how it's doing. As you can see, I needed to get gloves because it was too cold for my hands. So, let me see. Oh, you can see it's starting to get very solid like. Pretty exciting. It's not like the milk it was before. I'm going to put it back in and keep doing it a bit longer. Okay, I think it's good. It seems pretty solid. So, definitely not the milk it was before. Pretty solid. I'm just gonna eat it from the bag. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I definitely feel like I need some chocolate or strawberries or caramel or something to give it a little bit more flavor. But other than that, it's pretty good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed another week of Science at Home with me and the RMSC. And I will see you guys next week where we will be doing another experiment.